when, when something good happens to you, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to look back to what brought me here. We wasn't supposed to be here. I feel confident because I'm the best player in the world. Why not? Why can't I be the MVP of the league? Why can't I be the best player in the league? Hey, what's up, my units? I am back here with another video. I've been seeing some Rajon Rondo free agency rumors since he's been waived by the Suns, and I just want to put some input on what team should land him if he doesn't go back to the Suns. Chris Paul can get a vent minimum, but these are just teams I feel like it would be cool to have him. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and let's go to it. So the first destination I got him is at the Washington Wizards. I know y'all probably like, what the hell I just said, but listen, just real quick. And also this idea only works if Porzingis come back. For this video purposes, yes, he is back and the Wizards are eyeing on Chris Paul. The Wizards this season, I feel like they just underachieved because how much size they had, but it was apparent they needed a guard at the trade deadline. The Wizards are full of forwards and centers. It's just that their guard depth is just not very good. Monte Morris is a name I'm gonna write off because he had a mess season. Like, it was okay but he just can't get to the paint but i'd rather have him as a main backup point if the wizards somehow pull off and get chris paul but the wizards guard depth was just very lacking this season bradley bill wasn't healthy this season but pairing him with this would just be a deep run that the bill just been wanting this whole time i know bill was injured but this would just be amazing it complements this game it complements the whole team game and the Wizards wasn't even bad when it came to rebounding the ball or shooting the ball. But the problem with the Wizards is just that they didn't have good ball movement. Their guards wasn't really good enough to utilize how good this team could be. Every time I watched the Wizard game, the opposing team just ran zone because how bad they couldn't beat it. They barely could get the ball going when the defense settled and that's why I think CP3 would just be a perfect fit. So for the Clippers, I'm gonna just keep this short. Cause we all know the Clippers was just desperate for a point guard last season. When they acquired Westbrook at the trade deadline, they were sitting comfortably till the same old story just kept happening. So in this scenario, Russell Westbrook is gone and they just need an elite point guard. And that's when Chris Paul come in. But I really think Chris Paul chances of going back to the Clippers is just very low. Kawhi and PG just literally cannot stay healthy. And for Kawhi, it's just more literal than ever. He has a degenerative, <laughs> he has a degenerative ACL. So he will never be 100% again. But let's say for this video purpose only, Chris Paul comes back and everybody's healthy. We can see a deep playoff run with this squad. Also, it would be very nostalgic since Chris Paul had his best years there. Would it be amazing fan service and exactly what everyone wants low key? I would not see that as a bad choice, more of a risky choice. Now, San Antonio is just really a biased selection for me, but the chances to go there is literally so low unless he gets traded there. The Spurs have so much cat space if the Suns wants to trade him, they can do it. And Chris Paul is just a great mentor. And since we have the number one pick of the NBA draft, it's most likely we're gonna draft Victor Wimanyama. Chris Paul could teach Victor more about the game, including with Tony Parker, Tim Duncan, and Manu Ginobili. If you're wondering why I said the big three, it's because they already said they was gonna mentor him. So if he gets on the team, there is no guarantee he will play the game or actually mentor Victor, And but it would be a good short-term investment. If anything, I would love for him to mentor Trey Jones because I don't feel like the Spurs are done with Trey Jones' development. Now for the last one, I got the New York Knicks. The Knicks has just been beautiful this season, just beating everyone's expectations with their new acquisition of Jalen Brunson. I feel like if the Knicks do get CP3, he will be more established and disciplined in their main star, Julius Randle. Chris Paul will definitely utilize every big on this roster because the Knicks bigs are actually physical and very underrated. And not only he provide playoff experience, but the way how he control the rock will help the Knicks offense. 
because their offense can get very stagnant if Jalen Brunson can't shoot and Julius Randle get locked up. But I don't think they'll try to get him because Jalen Brunson is already undersized himself. But other than that, this will be a match made in heaven. Also, Chris Paul and the Knicks will literally break the headline. And it seems like the Knicks are moving on from D Rose. For honorable mentions, the Lakers. The Lakers don't really need Chris Paul, but they need him. If Chris Paul ever does join the Lakers, he will be on a Rajon Rondo type role. That's really it. That's all I got to say. So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe and peace out.